No doubt you've been keeping up with the news that's coming out about the coronavirus. And, uh, you know, it's a global thing and things are happening and all sorts of people are commenting on it. What I wanted to do today was just, uh, well, I've been doing some thinking. I've been doing some thinking. I made nine points that I think you should think about and plan in order to get through this really well. The thing is, the businesses that get through change are the businesses where the leaders think about things. So number one point, stay calm, be the leader. Don't get sidetracked by everything that's on social media. Don't get panicky, lead. Lead means making some decisions, doing stuff. Your team are looking for someone who has confidence, who's a leader. Number two, so talk to your team. Talk about your health and safety uh, priorities and about sanitizing. Number three, check with your suppliers. Now, schedule well ahead. Look way down the track for various jobs and check with the critical elements that you've got enough supplies. Check some of the basics to make sure that uh, you are well stocked up. They might not cost, cost much just to have a few extra fittings and nails, etc. If, you're, if you've got key people and roles in your business, then if those roles are not documented and those people are away, no one can simply step in and take over the essential part of their role. So if there's roles that, not, that are not yet documented, don't panic. Just get everybody to bullet point what they do on a daily or a weekly or a monthly basis so that you've got the beginnings of their process. Number five, talk to your team about what they will need and what they need to do in order to work remotely. This, of course, only applies to your office team. You can't really get the guys on the tools working remotely from their job. They need to be on site, but at least they're probably outside or in the open air or not in an environment that is quite as much threat as people in office environments. And then it's likely that we're going to face some months of recession. So how do you live in recession? Well, number one, in recession, you need to go for market share. What happens is the whole market contracts a little. It doesn't contract a whole lot, but it contracts a little. So all you need to do is to increase your market share a little and you will keep up. Market share is really shaped in the sales area. So work with your sales people to make sure that they're able to retain their leads and get those sales. Number seven, treat your customers well right at the moment, remember they're people too. They're also looking for people who are confident, who are secure, whose businesses are going to survive. So make sure that you treat your customers, your present ones really well, and you'll get referrals from them too. And number eight, sharpen up your reporting features. Make sure that you've got your company reporting overall coming out at least monthly. Make sure that your team are reporting back to you on a weekly basis so that you know where things are at. So if you do need to make changes, you've got up to the minute information. And lastly, number nine, be proactive. Don't sit around waiting for governments to intervene. The only place governments get any money from is from people like you and I who work and give them taxes. So make sure that you are proactive. Think about what you could do if the current environment were to continue long-term. What changes? might you come up with? You see, although we're going into changing times, business leaders like you have already been through changing times. You've changed from being an employee to becoming an employer. You see, all it really takes for you to do is to adapt to a new environment. So go for it. Be nimble. Be quick. Lead your people.